All right, so we got Nav, the end of Warzone 2. Let's grab to the video. Let's see if there's no movement changes. Oh, yeah, so this is season... This is season three of Warzone. Hold on. Bro, what is this? Movement changes. What movement changes was there? It feels the fucking same. What changes did they make? Oh, the servers are the same too. Every time someone leaves or times out, we just lag. Okay, Infinity Pete, Ward yeah. just tweeted, we're investigating an issue some players are facing that affects access to the battle pass once purchased. No one gives a fuck about your battle pass, bro. Fix the fucking servers. Yeah, bro. I'm off this game. I'm on Valorant. F this. Bro went to Valorant, bro. Yo, what's good? It's Nav, and today I got y'all with another video. Now, today I'm going to be playing solos in the new update on Season 3. And I want to talk about Season 3 a little bit. I played I played I Season 3 video. yesterday. Uh, but also, make sure to comment down below if you guys do enjoy the solo gameplays. Uh, we'll start doing them if you guys do enjoy them. Because solo is really easy. I like this style. Honestly, it's really fun. I never really so heard this voice before. If you guys do enjoy that, make sure to comment down below let me know. Uh, but anyways, All Season right. 3. Uh, yes, the update was yesterday. And the update was complete garbage they did move a little bit in the right direction but it was only like 0.1 percent and we just can't do that with the state of the game right now uh the game is just really boring it's really stale there's no skill gap okay all right i mean okay i get where he's coming from right because i'm like, what i like what i like to do in this situation like when it comes to like you know the when it comes to stuff like this i want to include my personal experience I want to include Nav's ex experience, and I want to get Call of Duty side from it. So there's three sides to it, right? So it's Nav, Mines, and Call of Duty. My personal experience is, right, when it comes down to it, we all play, when I say we, I, I mean us as, like, video game players. And I'm sorry for pausing it, but this will be, like, a pausing type video because I'm going to be talking as well. A lot of people play the game for different reasons, or a lot of people are good at different things in the game. So if you are a movement type player and you rely on, I'm not, well, yeah, if you rely on movement, right, then I would say that, like, the movement in Modern Warfare 2, it's smooth, but, like, I mean, you know, you can still, you can still go crazy, but, like, it's not, the movement is not as correct as it was in Warzone 1, okay, obviously. It's a whole new game. Um, I got, like, a, like a sore throat as well, so, like, if I pause a little bit to, like, breathe, my bad. Um, other than that... I get what he's saying, though. Uh, I, I did play the third update yesterday. I will pause the video because I, I don't like pausing the video whenever I'm doing reactions, but this is a talk of the video. Um, I did play the, uh, season three yesterday. It was kind of cool, but at the same time, yeah, people were lagging out. The servers were really buggy. Um, they did change like a few things with the whole massive uh, was a massive resurgence where basically it was like resurgence on the big map. Uh, was it Al Moza Mo Mo or something like that? I don't know the I don't know the name, but other than that, I get where he's coming from. And there's just nothing to learn on this game. Everyone looks the same, and honestly, these devs obviously don't know what they're doing because I mean, Warzone 2 could be such a good game. All they have to do is add movement and just add the things that they need in the game that they did with Warzone 1, and we're perfect. But obviously, they don't know how to do that, and the game's complete garbage, and it's just not fun. And no one's enjoying it. Everyone's complaining. So obviously these devs don't know what they're doing. So I don't know what we're going to do. But yeah, we're stuck with the shitty game. So yeah, but that was pretty much the sum of season three. I mean, I didn't really see any differences. It was literally just more bugs that brought onto the game and a little bit of a boost on the slide cancel or on the slide because you can't slide cancel in this game. But uh, yeah, so I mean, that's really all I've seen in season three, just the bunch of new content no new fixes no new movement nothing so i mean you know, the game feels the same but we got to deal with it this is cod this is warzone 2 so anyways i hope you guys do enjoy the video if you guys do make sure to drop a like and if you're new to the channel make sure to drop a sub we're on the road to 200k i really appreciate it 200 big sub. ones anyways, hope you guys enjoy i love y'all peace all right Here's my take. I know. Oh, why you keep pausing the video? You don't. You never pause the video. Shut up. Okay. Um, my thing about this, I get where he's coming from, right? Um, you want something new. Everybody does play the game the same way. You want something new. I understand that. When it comes down to it, right? I feel like, and these are, and honestly, I'm I'm speaking from like a person that doesn't really. 
you know what? I, I, I'm not going to say I don't use the movement side of Call of Duty. Um, but at the same time, I, 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 I've become a, like a, uh, like adjusted to it, basically. Like, it, it got to that point to where... Uh, let's go back to Warzone 1, for example. It got it got to that point to where, like... Uh, you know, I can actually just have a gameplay in the background. Sorry about that. Sorry, I paused it. But it got to a point to where, bro, like, we go back in Warzone 1... The movement was so unbearable, right? And, and for people that like rely on movement, you gotta admit, bro, it was straight cheese, bro. Literally, the movement of Wars on One, you would literally, bro, you were moving like Reggie Bush, bro. For real, you, bro, you had a, you had a, you had a straight uh, SMG in your hand, moving like Reggie Bush, sliding from left to right, sliding past the person, then jumping, shooting them in the back. That's all I saw. That's all I saw. But at the end of the day, I'm not saying that's a bad way to play the game. It's just. I get where Call of Duty is coming from to the point to where they was like, okay, the movement in the first game was absolutely un like unbearable, especially with the whole stem thing. Cool. You know what? Let's nerf the uh, movement. Let's make it semi, like, you know, like, look at Nav right now. Look at Nav right now. He's not, I mean, and I'm guessing this is just from experience because I, I know a lot of people can't move like this. I think he can move like this. I, th I think it's just pure skill, the way he can move. Like, so it's just smoothly around the, around the map and everything like that. A lot of players cannot do that. Let's just not, let, let's just, I don't want to like downplay, you know, nav skill. A lot of players cannot move like this. Just off, just, you know, a lot of players, if if, we, if you was to, you know, put this in Warzone 1, a lot of players needed the stem to move like this. Keep it real, right? But at the end of the day, when it comes down to it, I, I see what Call of Duty is trying to do. They they uh, they nerfed the mo uh, movement. I can't talk. They nerfed the movement. Uh, what else they do? They changed the whole system UI. Obviously, they changed the whole you know system UI. You know to. Uh, oh dang, that was a good snipe. Are back, baby. They changed the whole uh, system UI to like uh, to adjust to uh, Modern Warfare 2. Obviously, the you know the new game and stuff like that. Because I mean, it makes sense from 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 a standpoint of just okay, let's just make this game. Let's say, let's make Warzone go from game to game to game to game. It makes sense. They're changing new things, so I I understand that. But when it comes down to it, he is Nav is right, bro. Na sorry, Nav is right, bro. Players are playing the same. It, it it does get stale. I will admit that. I mean, if they could add, honestly, in, in my in my personal opinion, bro, I feel like it was it was the it was the maps. That was a good kill. It was the maps in my opinion, bro. Honestly, the um the old re rebirth map in Warzone One was perfect. The uh the, the the prison map, bro, perfect to the T. That was a perfect rebirth map, bro. It's over. Uh, I appreciate every single uh, one of you that still watch all of my videos, even if you don't play the game anymore. I really just love you, bro. Listen, the old Warzone, the old Warzone, the, the old rebirth Warzone map was perfect, bro. They could have kept that. They could have kept that. And if you go back to Warzone One now. They don't have that rebirth map. It's over. Like it's gone. That that map is absolutely finished. So for me, it was never. I never really had a problem with the movement. It was for me. I never even complained about the movement. It, it's just I had to like adjust to it. The thing that I didn't like was the maps. The, the the map. The current map. The current big map. Not um, not Ashika Island. The the current big map in Warzone Two right now, bro. I'm a, I'm gonna keep it real, bro. In Call of Duty, you know I love you. I cannot, I'm going to be real. Every time I hop on Warzone 2, I go straight to Ashika Island, bro. I go straight to uh, Resurgence. I'm not playing the, the the regular Warzone map. For what? For what? The map, bro, the map is as big as San Andreas in GTA. I'm keeping it real. Bro, I'm not, I'm not even trying to like roast or nothing. We got to just sit and admit this, bro. When it comes down to it, yes, Call of Duty in... in it's so easy for us, uh, for, you know, for the players to just blame everything on the devs and all this and all that, right? But when it does come down to it, devs if, devs, if somehow you are watching this video, when it does come down to it, you have to, like, pick and choose of, like, okay, you know, because y'all remember that one week where 73% of people dipped, including me. I'll keep it real. I stopped playing, right, because it Warzone got boring, bro. It did. I will admit, when when I've said that Warzone gets boring, like it, it does, it gets boring really quickly, bro. Um, obviously, whenever they added the new Ashika Island, you know, everybody came back, but then a week later, dropped. You know, 
And I don't want to compare, but when it comes down to it, I feel like Call of Duty should take uh, pointers from different Battle Royale games, such as Fortnite. As much as a lot of Call of Duty players, like like myself, you know, and I love Fortnite, but as much as a lot of Call of Duty players don't like Fortnite, a lot of Call of Duty players look at Fortnite as um, as like a little kid game, which is, I mean, you know, that's, that's your opinion. I'm not going to knock you for your opinion, but at the end of the day, when it comes down to it, Fortnite is doing 10, 10 billion times better than Warzone. Because they have, they're having new ideas every single week. Literally. Literally. There is an update for Fortnite every single week. I think, was it every Tuesday, I think? There's an update for Fortnite every single week. So I feel like Call of Duty, like, if, you, if the devs, you know, uh, listen, I, you don't, obviously, you, you know, you don't have to take any pointers from me. But what I recommend is I recommend y'all just sit down and look at other Battle Royales and, 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 just, and just jot down ideas. You can just add to your game. There's nothing wrong with, you know, taking inspiration from uh, other battle, roy uh, ba battle royales. I can't speak. Like, a lot, I know a lot of uh, gaming companies do that. But when it comes down to it, bro, if you need, you know, a game, you, like, if, like, if your game is, like, I wouldn't say Warzone is failing. But, like, Warzone, man, like, how, how would you, if I was to, like, give Warzone, like, Warzone a word, I, I I'll probably say it's, it's dry. Warzone is very dry. Um, but if you have a game like Fortnite, bro, and again, a lot of Call of Duty players will look at Fortnite as this kid game, but this kid game is killing it every single week. I promise you. It, it, Fortnite, bro. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. So many people sleep on Fortnite because it's supposed to be this kid game, bro. Fortnite kills it every single week, bro. They have ideas every single week. You know, and, and they listen to their community. I'm not saying Call of Duty. And don't take that as me saying that y'all don't listen to y'all community. But when it comes down to it, you guys have a history of not listening to your community. I just got to be honest. I'm not here. To, I'm not, you know, going to sugarcoat anything. But when it comes down to it, you're the, the, the consumers, you know, the players are, you know, we're, we're going to play the game and we're going to voice our opinion of it. You know, um, it, it's just when it comes down to it, man, I just feel like it, it, Warzone 2 needs that one something. It needs that one thing that, that makes players, like, you know, eager to play it again, you know? And, and not just want to play it, you know, just with their friends. You, you We all... And listen, I'm sorry this video is long, by the way. But we all had those games, that, right, that you just wouldn't play by yourself that, like, you need some friends to play with. Like, you could play by yourself, but, like, it's too boring to play by yourself. <laughs> so, like, you call up your... <laughs> Bro, there's a lot of games like that out there, bro. So, like, when it comes down to it, man, I, I just feel like Warzone 2 needs that one thing. I don't know what it is, you know? And, and honestly, I don't want to know what it is. I want Call of Duty to come up with it, like, you know, for like for themselves, you know? And they don't even have to take nothing from nobody else. They can just come up with it. Bro, they, brother, they can come up with a mode. They can come up with, with a mode in their head, bro. Like, it, it's just crazy, bro. It's crazy because, like, like man, I look at Fortnite, man. They got, bro, when that, <sighs> let me tell you something, bro. When that Creative 2.0 came out and they had, uh, they had, like, the like the Fortnite team deathmatch, I was on that thing for two to three hours, bro. Two to three hours straight, bro. I loved it. Loved it. I was hooked. I couldn't wait to play the next day, honestly. Call of Duty needs something like that. Call of Duty used to be like that, you know, um, you know, with multiplayer, obviously. And zombies and stuff like that. But when you look at Call of Duty as a whole right now, man, it's just, it, it, it's honestly, it, it's just dry, bro. Dry. But and, and I'm not here to blame the devs, you know. It, it's just Call of Duty as a whole needs to take accountable uh, accountability for this, you know. And um, I don't know. It's just Call of Duty, need, it needs that thing. And I don't know what that thing is. Y'all going to have to come up with it because it's not my job to help you come up with it. The whole premise of your game is to have people come through and play your game. You need that thing that it, 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 it's something. Fortnite already found it out. Fortnite is actually no. Fortnite has a bunch of things that keeps people coming. They they've already found their system out. They've already found their their their, their cheat code already. They found it already. Call of Duty. I mean, I I don't want to say you once did. I feel like. Honestly, if I was to give Call of Duty some advice right now, man, I would say that keep it simple. Keep it simple. The, the Call of Duty, there's been a lot of, you know, and I'm sorry this video is long, but Call of Duty, there's been a lot of, you know, 
times where you guys would, you know, do too much and it, it was just, it would flop because nobody is not trying to, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I feel like the simpler Call of Duty is, the better it is, in my opinion. Um, but, you know, who am I? <laughs> I'm just a regular dude. Oh, listen, I'm a regular dude that, play, that just plays a game. It's just, I, I hear where Nav is coming from, but also I could try to, I can try to understand where Call of Duty is coming from. Um, and I don't know. They, they need something, especially in the war zone area. I don't know about the Modern Warfare. I don't know about, um, oh, I just hit my mic. I'm sorry. I don't know about the, uh, Modern Warfare 2. Uh, multiplayer thing. I mean, I really don't care about that. I mean, I do play Warzone, and literally, Warzone needs something. They, they need like that. <laughs> they need something to keep people coming back. That's the problem, bro. They they will they will get people. Warzone will get people to play it, but then it, they, you know, with the gameplay, they're gonna push them away. Like the game, they do that like every every update, man. For real, like this new update, right? People are going to be playing the game by next week. I'm not even listen. I'm not even like trying to like wish for failure or nothing like that. You know, Call of Duty. I, I've been playing Call of, like bro. I've been playing Call of Duty since I was little, bro. I'm not gonna. I'm not here to you know shame no company or nothing like that. It, I'm literally telling you the truth. When there's a new update or a new character, or whatever. Oh, we play that game. Oh, I believe you play that game. It's just. You know, you get kicked out, but other than that, I'll see you later for the next one. I'm out. Yeah, in peace.